Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. I'm Sarah. If you are looking for home style recipes made ketogenic, then you have come to the right channel. And tonight we are going to be making a very easy one skillet dish and it is going to be mushroom smothered pork chops. So come along with me and let's get started. Moving on to the pork chops, I have three thick cut bone in pork chops. This recipe will also accommodate four, perhaps five, depending on the size of your skillet and of your pork chops. But these are quite large. We got these from the butcher and I got three because I know that's what will fit into my skillet. And that is the first step. We are going to start searing our pork chops on both sides. It'll take about six to seven minutes to get a good sear on both sides. So that is our first step. I have my 12 inch cast iron skillet and I have it pretty flaming hot. And so I'm going to start searing my pork chops as my first step. So we are going to go about another three to four minutes searing on this side. Okay, so I let them go about three and a half minutes. So now I'm going to remove them to a plate. So I have turned my skillet down to medium and I am now going to add about a tablespoon of butter to my skillet. And you want to keep all the delicious bits from cooking your pork chop in there. I'm putting in eight ounces of white mushrooms that are sliced. You can use any kind of mushroom that you like for this. So while our mushrooms are starting to saute, I'm going to go ahead and add our seasoning and our herbs. So while our mushrooms are beginning to saute, I'm going to go ahead and add our herbs and our seasoning. I have two cloves of garlic. I have one teaspoon of herbal seasoning. I have one teaspoon of salt. I have one teaspoon of pepper. And I have one teaspoon of onion powder. I also have a teaspoon each of fresh herbs. I have fresh thyme and fresh rosemary. If you don't have fresh, you could use dried. 
I do definitely recommend fresh. I am now going to add liquid to form this into a sauce. I'm going to add two cups of chicken stock to our skillet. And we are going to let this come to a low simmer and start pulling all of our seasonings and our mushrooms together. This will probably take about 10 to 15 minutes on medium heat. So I am going to remove this from the heat for a moment to add my thickener. So I'm going to be adding about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of xanthan gum to thicken my sauce to make it the smothered part of our gravy. Now you want to do this off of the heat and you want to try and do it as evenly as you can over the surface of your gravy and we are going to be whisking this in. But this is just going to help our sauce pull together a bit to form a true gravy for our pork chops. And then once you have incorporated your xanthan gum, you can then place it back on your heat source. So we are just going to let that cook for a couple more minutes and let our xanthan gum help thicken our sauce before we add our pork chops back in. Okay, so our sauce has thickened up with the xanthan gum and I'm now going to put our partially cooked pork chops back into our sauce to finish cooking. So you just want to keep this on a simmer, quite low, because we are just looking to bring our pork chops up to temperature. I have my meat thermometer, so I will be checking intermittently to make sure that my pork chops come to about 145 degrees, which is the ideal temperature for pork. mushroom smothered pork chop and we are going to have CJ give it a taste. Hi. Hi. It's time for some pork chop. Good. I feel like Wolverine. Do you? Because of all this hair on my face. <laughs> for those who don't know I'm trying to grow my beard out on the sides. I don't know if I'm going to make it. So like Duck Dynasty or something? No, they have beard. They actually have beards. I don't okay. have a beard. Mm, perfectly cooked. Yeah. That's really flavorful. Mushroom gravy is really good. So this is keto, carnivore, low carb, simple. The, the doneness of the pork chop is good, it's not dry. But folks like dry pork chops, I think. <laughs> <'Cause> I, think <laughs> that's, know. I think that's what people know. Anyway, I'm sure we've got a video where we talked about perfect pork chops where we can link to some other videos or stuff on the, on the internet about temperature and pork chops. I do have a photograph in my blog post for this recipe. But it's really good. Um, I think if I just add a little bit of salt, it'd be perfect for me, but everybody's taste is different. But it's simple, looks really fancy, tastes really fancy, and the pork chop is really tender. Good. So thank you. Bye. Bye.